<laughs> hey, Dave Ferrari here. Welcome to this edition of the Trackside Modeler. Today we're going to watch Albert Rademacher, the man who invented sill floor, build a diorama base. And he's building the base using four inch thick styrofoam. Now I know a lot of you watching this don't have access to styrofoam this thick, but you can use two two inch pieces glued together to get the same effect. Of course the big advantage that Albert has is he has an industrial size hot wire tool. Now a similar tool on a smaller scale is made by the hot wire foam factory. The hot wire tool as you can see makes cutting the foam very easy and it's also a very clean process. The big advantage with Albert's method of building a diorama, as you can see, is in fact he takes the whole thing apart and then makes all his cuts, shapes all of his pieces, and then at the very end, as you'll see, he puts it all back together again and it all fits together perfectly. And now the puzzle starts to be assembled. As you can see, Albert had all of this in his head. And he cut all the pieces, and now he's putting them all together, puzzle style, to uh, build all of the basic rock formations. Now that all the basic rock shapes are set in place, Albert's taking a piece of very thin pink foam, a piece that he cut out of a, uh, another section with the hot wire tool, and he's using it as a track base. And you can see he's laying his track out on it and then drawing an outline around the track so he'll know how much room to allow for the base. He's actually going to make the line about a half an inch wider than the track to allow for the height of the ballast. He smooths up the edge of the track bed with a knife and then finishes it with sandpaper to get it to be smooth. What he's trying to do is get a little bit of a taper on the edge so that it looks like the cork road bed that we use on our railroads. Next is the stone bridge 
and Albert's going to cut out for the waterway under the bridge, and then the stones will be drawn directly onto the surface of the styrofoam. The inside of the bridge is finished with a half round wood rasp to get it to be smooth and to look like it has a little bit of a taper back up towards the, the top of the stream. The cement that Albert is using to hold the foam pieces together is called Tessa. It's a European product. It's like liquid airplane cement and the closest thing I've found in this country is Beacon Adhesives 3-in-1 Advanced Craft Glue and Fabri-Tac. Both of them seem to have the same working qualities and they're both available in craft stores and fabric stores. Albert uses this glue like contact cement. He puts some on a surface, he moves it around, pulls it away a few times, and then when the glue starts to dry a little bit, he pushes the pieces together and it's a permanent bond. They're stuck together permanently without any damage to the foam. So there's our diorama base all assembled now and the next step is carving the rocks into the foam and then painting the rocks so they look realistic. To watch Albert carve and shape foam rocks, check out my next video called Carving Foam Rocks. This is Dave Freire. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you soon and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. <laughs>